Okay, so I have here my, my website. Okay, so I'm going to erase this membership area that I just created before. I'm going to erase it like this. Okay, and I'm going to create it again. Okay, so in order to create membership areas, you have to like create a page for this membership area. So for for this for this example, I'm gonna create here a course page. Okay, just create here a course page where I'm gonna have my e-learning page, and I'm gonna create a members area. So this this actual page will be my, my membership area. Okay, so I'm gonna create a new membership area. I'm gonna put the name here. It will be course online course. Okay, you can select a color for the course. I'm gonna select red. Okay, for this example, description, online course. Okay, so um, automatically ranks area to the membership area, manual payment. Okay, so this is if you want to connect your membership area uh, to a checkout. So the only way they will have access to that membership area will be paying through a, through a checkout. Okay, so you're you're telling the membership area they, they that they need approval from the super checkout or any checkout that you're using to have uh, access to that course. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use the automatic grant access. So I'm gonna have like a little membership area for users. Um, they go, they can register for free and they can have access to that course. Okay, so I'm gonna select here the auto authentication type. It can be a token, it can be a login that will use his email and password, or both, but I'm gonna use login. Okay, so the pages that it will contain this membership area will be only the course. If you have several pages that you want to add to your membership area, you can do so in selecting the few pages here. Mailing boss, if you want to integrate your membership area when people log in and register, okay, especially when they, they register their email and name, Will be collected into a mailing ball list. This is perfect if you want to like email, uh, email marketing them about new features, new offers, new courses, new everything. So you can collect or, those emails. So I'm gonna select this test list for this example. I'm gonna click on save. Okay. So after the membership area is created, which which you can scroll down over here, you have here the page that will contain the the membership area. If you want to add more pages here and add them later, you can also create a, and go click over here and you can select the few pages or the new pages you just created. Okay, so I have here my online course page and I have here my my, my membership area. You can select here um, to select different arrangement for the view over here. Okay, for the uh, view pages. And I'm gonna go into site members here, which is the actual. Um, the, the options, the several options that you have for for your site members. So you have the site members, you have the members that already registered here with the email and name, members members area form. Uh, if you want to include more fields like phone number, the type of uh, theme you want to use, like have two columns that will contain the the name and register page for both. Um, it can be a dark theme. You can select if you want to use a block. If you want to use a three tab, which will be sign in, register, and remember that it will remember the password for those who, who lost it. I'm just going to leave it uh, this way. I'm going to click on save. And I'm going to go to the last option uh, for this example. That it will be the mailing boss option at the end. Okay, so the last option here will be sign members automatic emails if you want to create automatically emails here for them to like if, if you want to email them um, about new offers you can create here a new um, automatic email theme for them okay um, another option that you have is uh, if you go to okay so um, the last thing you can do is that if you go to pages you have already have your membership area created okay so if we go to that website let's go to this website which is this one right here okay and I want to go to that membership area I'm just gonna click this is the URL so I'm gonna put the URL the page add in a slash and then put the code so you can see that I already have here my membership page if I share this they will be able to register and they or click over here to log in okay 
but the most important thing is that if you have a thank you page after they purchase your course or after they obtain to get into that course you have to go into that thank you page and add a button okay so you can like redirect them properly let's say that you're gonna add here a panel okay and I'm gonna add a button I'm gonna put it over here uh, this button will allow them to uh, get into that uh, membership page okay so I can let them know how to register or how to log in okay so let's say let's add two buttons instead okay let's say that this is a free course for this example line I'm gonna add here log in and the headline of this will be register now okay so the action for this Will be to log in. So site members will be log in. Uh, it's a an online course that it will automatically get added to that membership area. Okay. Redirection after that will be the course. Okay. Thing save, and this is the login for the registration page. I'm gonna click over here. Site members register course and save. Okay. So I have now this bottom link into my login page and this page login to register now. Okay, for this example, this is just a free course. So after the purchase or after, I mean, after they obtain, there will be the, these two options for them to log in or to register. So basically, if they click over here, it will take them to this page. And if they click over here on the login, it will be automatically take them to the login area. Okay. You can edit this login page by editing the course area. If you go to the course area here, you can edit this website here for the, the, the login page you can uh, edit the background edit any anything from there okay so you can add here the course page you can also add a sharing image okay you can also uh, modify something else here no, you cannot okay so basically this is what